Now we will see what is a well-ordered set. Okay. Or when is a relation R called a well-ordering? Okay. So let's consider the set S together with the relation R. When the relation R is defined on the set S, first of all, the condition for this set to be a well-ordered set is that this set S comma R should be a totally ordered set. Also, if you take every non-empty subset of the set S, it has a least element with respect to the relation R. Okay, if these two conditions are met, then the set S together with the relation R is called a well-ordered set. Okay, we'll see some examples of well-ordered set. Okay, then we'll understand it more clearly. So let's consider the set of positive integers together with the less than or equal to relation. So the set of positive integers together with the less than or equal to relation, whether that is a well-ordered set or not, that is the question. Okay. So first of all, we have to understand this is a totally ordered set. Okay. One thing is that if you take any two elements in the set of positive integers a comma b if you take we know that either a is less than or equal to b or b is less than or equal to a that means every pair of elements in the set of positive integers are comparable okay and also the less than or equal to relation defined on this set is also a partial ordering relation that is the reason why this set, set plus comma less than or equal to is a totally ordered set. Okay. Now we also have to check the second condition for this set to being a well ordered set. We also have to check that whether every non empty subset, right? Every non empty subset of set plus has a least element or not. Okay, okay. So the set of positive integers is an infinite set, right? Basically. So now what we are claiming is that you take any non-empty subset of set plus, meaning that you take a subset of set plus which have at least one element in it, right? Then we have a least element, right? So since the relation is less than or equal to always, if suppose the subset you are taking is one, two, three, as an example. The subset you are taking is 1 2 3 there is a least element which is 1 because 1 is related to 1 1 is related to 2 1 is related to 3 and hence 1 is the least element here as 1 is less than or equal to 1 1 is less than 2 and 1 is less than 3 so the thing is that if you take any non-empty subset of the set of positive integers there will be a least element when the relation is less than or equal to right that's why set plus comma less than or equal to is a well-ordered set okay now what about this set you take set plus comma the where the relation is greater than or equal to whether this is a well-ordered set okay think about it for a moment we know that set plus comma less than or equal to is a well-ordered set we have seen that now the question was whether the this set, the set of positive integers together with the relation greater than or equal to. Okay. Whether this is a well-ordered set or not. Okay. So basically, we can see that this is a totally ordered set. Right. Every elements, every pair of elements belonging to a set of positive integers is comparable with respect to this relation. That is clear that we know. Also, uh, we know that the greater than or equal to relation defined on the set of integers we have seen that that was a partial ordering relation or that was a partial ordered set so again this is going to be a totally ordered set but the question is whether it satisfies the second property for it to become a well ordered set what was the second property it has to be the case that you take every non-empty subset right every non-empty subset of the set of positive integers it should have a least element right that was the second property with respect to the relation so 
when we say that it should have a least element it is with respect to the relation so the relation here is the greater than or equal to relation and the set plus the set is a set of positive integers okay this is an infinite set okay now we are trying to prove that this is not the case for the relation greater than or equal to right okay so let's take a non empty subset here we are proving with a counter example so let's say the subset that we took was were uh, 10 comma 11 comma up to infinity okay this was a subset it's an infinite subset but it's a non empty subset right non empty subset of a set of positive integers we, whether it has a least element or not of course it has a least element 10 but it is with respect to the relation less than or equal to right so with respect so if set plus comma less than or equal to we already know that it is a well ordered set but the question here is whether set plus comma greater than or equal to whether it is a well ordered set or not that is the question okay and you take a non empty subset of the set of positive integers and you prove that it doesn't have a least element with respect to the relation greater than or equal to so obviously this subset has a le uh, le least element with respect to less than or equal to because 10 is less than or equal to all the elements in the set right okay so now our question is whether this subset has a least element with respect to the greater than or equal to relation meaning that if there was a least element a okay in this subset it should be the case that a is related to every element in this set okay so can we say an a which is greater than or equal to every element in this set that is the least element here and not the 10 10 is the least element with respect to the less than or equal to relation and not with the greater than or equal to relation okay so here since it's an infinite set and it's unbounded here that's why we don't have a least element here that is a counter example and hence the set plus comma greater than or equal to is not a well ordered set. So this is an example for a set which is not well ordered and this is an example for a set which is well ordered. Okay. For a set to be well ordered it has to be a totally ordered set and every non empty subset of that set should have a least element with respect to the relation. Okay. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.